What's going on guys? Vic BB back with another Game Case Arcades video. I'm doing it again. We are modding another RK one up Street Fighter edition. This time we're gonna do better camera work and I'm gonna show you step by step how to mod it. So again, I'm out here in New York, I'm in New Jersey. You can find me under Vic VP or Game Case Arcades. Uh, on these, this video, I mean, it might be a two part, just kind of going over. No, I'm gonna actually make it a one part. No, I might make it a two part, I don't know yet. But I'm gonna try to do less uh, selfie mode because some people complained. Somebody made a joke that I was looking a 14 year old girl doing my hair, like tutorial. Like relax guys, it's not that crazy. But this one, we'll do it a little bit better. We'll do it a little bit nicer. Um, again, picked up another RK one up cabinet secondhand walmart return from the same guy bought it out in elizabeth new jersey this one he actually paid he actually wanted 200 for it but he actually opened it and he actually had it assembled like in his warehouse and i was able to knock it down to 175 so i paid 175 for this cabinet my first cabinet i got from him, i paid 75 bucks but this one i guess he kind of got popular and he noticed it but he's charged 175 which isn't too bad i can still work with it but this again was still a Walmart return cabinet. This did come from Walmart. This has a whole bunch of things on the box. Box verification codes. We got facility numbers. We got claim numbers. We even have user IDs on this. I mean, again, I did get the box. I'm trying to make sure we get the item in the picture, but I did get the box again from Elizabeth, New Jersey. Bought it into the warehouse at my shop that I'm in in Astoria. He already had it. And I don't know if this is a trend with the RK one ups, but there seems to be an issue almost always with the player one joystick. I'm gonna talk behind the camera now because people hate that I don't show the thing. I'm gonna talk behind the camera real quick on this one. So just real quick, a quick explanation on this. The warehouse, they made it. And the warehouse was cold, it was freezing. He turned it on and the screen actually jittered. It would bounce around and everything. So I got nervous and I was like, oh man, I don't know if this is right. We did a reboot, we let it warmed up and now the screen seems good. Before, I couldn't get the left to work, but now the left works. Oh, there it goes. That's what I was trying to get. There it is. Rep. There you go. My left doesn't work. So I don't, I don't know if this is a trend. There it goes again. See? No. I don't, again, this is now the second time. Originally, it was my right joystick didn't work on the first cabinet. This one now, left joystick. I'm going on it. It's in and out. This is horrible. Cheap stuff. This is what you have when you do cheap stuff. But basically... Turning it off, we're gonna take the control panel off. All you need to do is take out these four screws and this is the main heart that you need to switch out. Once you got the control panel out, definitely wanna keep the four screws. So I put the four screws back into the holes and now you got your control panel. Flip the control panel over, you're gonna take out the screws that are holding in basically this plastic. Definitely want to save the screws this way you could use them for your your uh, joystick mounts. Take this off. Nothing is salvageable on this. Nothing at all. Take scissors and cut each and every wire, even the speaker wire. If you want to give some slack, you could keep some. But all this, take your blade, no joke, and start cutting it. The thing I'm playing, I literally mean to take cutters and just literally cut this but be gentle i mean you don't want to mess up the face of it i do have a pillow underneath this so i'm not scratching the face but again we're literally just going to cut these right here cut and cut and cut that's it all this is useless these buttons are cheap do not even bother wasting your time trying to unscrew this and unsolder it these buttons are not worth anything there you go the speaker I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna just cut it here. The speaker is actually here. Your yellow is here to the speaker. So you could actually keep that, but the the clip on it isn't worth it. We're gonna clip it. Now I could pull this yellow wire out and that's it. Again, we're cutting literally each wire. Next, we're gonna take our drill and take out basically the joysticks, screws. You wanna keep these screws. You could keep these screws to be safe too. And we're gonna keep the speaker screws to mount the other speakers. Uh, once we cut out the wires and everything, this is what it looks like. The joysticks are usually last. This real quick for the buttons here, you literally just push this in and that goes right through, done. 
The joystick here are glued in for some reason, as they always are. So for here, you take a flathead and you literally hammer it out. Done. So now for this build, again, we didn't use the rocker switches. I'm not using the rocker switches on this. We're gonna be making our select buttons here. So you basically could take a flathead and just be careful. You're just gonna hit this out. Then that comes out free. So now you're totally free. We got our volume rocker. That's gonna be again a button. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna be nice to you guys, I'm gonna show you that. And we are doing the speaker mod on this definitely. But again, the only thing salvageable from this is the control panel and keep the screws. The screws are the perfect length so that they do not go through the wood. So you wanna keep the screws on that. Okay, so now we're gonna do the speaker mod. All I simply do, I took a piece of paper. Any size paper, just make sure it covers your speakers. Any size paper, you take painter's tape, edge to edge. Make sure it's right along the edge, this way it looks perfect. We put the flashlight on the floor. I could see the lighting through here and we're gonna grab a pencil and puncture through. So for this, I don't have a pencil, I got a pen. Again, all I'm gonna do is just push right on down right down to make sure you go through the entire hole, right down. Again, wherever the, you see the light, push through. It should basically come out to an even circle. Again, people wanna see this, so enjoy this. And we got two more here. See, we don't wanna do that. I just wrote on it, one and two, got it. That's our template. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it on this side. So now that we made our holes on the paper, I took the paper and I flipped it. You do wanna always go down on the actual artwork. We're doing it on the artwork. We're not doing it on the back side. We're doing it on the artwork. So we have it here. I have a punch down tool. It's basically like a little sharp head and we're gonna basically tap down with the hammer and we're gonna basically indent the artwork so we know where the drill goes. So again, basically I'm gonna take this putting it on my hole, and then we're hitting it with a hammer. We got our punch downs. Take the paper off. So again, with our punch downs, we have it marked here, so now we could easily use the bit to go right through it. Again, we're gonna drill downwards into it. So somebody in the messages, in the comments, asked me what size bit am I using. So for this specific one here, this is a 5 and 32. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this on camera. There you have it. Drills made, screw holes made. Again, it should make a perfect circle. Again, you got an outer circle, middle circle, and then your middle dot. The reason why, again, no matter what you do, especially with stickers, you will get a couple, you know, it might not come out perfect for that. We do have to, I do have to vacuum it. But if I show you the other side, you get that. See this? Now, we don't want that. If you think my artwork side is bad, this is what happens if you drill the opposite way. So if I drilled from the back down, my artwork would have looked just like that. It would have looked awful. Again, original, all good. This is set. I'm gonna show you guys real quick my file secret for this. For again, we're gonna do the select buttons here. And then from there, we should be good. I really hope you guys are enjoying like my tripod setup video for this. A lot of people were upset about my other video, but I was too much shaking. I'm not really used to this. I really hope you're getting some good information out of this. But real quick, I'm gonna show you the file mod. Basically, again, we're gonna take our on and off holes, the volume hole, and we're gonna match it for a button. For me, I always say my buttons come from Game Room Solutions. All day, Ryan, Game Room Solutions, I get all of his buttons, real good buttons and their LED buttons. So 
I have an LED, I have a button with me. And again, we're gonna be using a file for this trick. So if you guys aren't aware, this is a file right here. This really is meant to like shave down stuff. So this right here, it's a very big file. We're basically gonna put it in here and start shaping out our button. This does take a lot of patience and a little bit of muscle uh, to get it to work. You will scratch up a little bit of the sticker here, but the trim on the button is gonna hide that. Again, I'm gonna literally show you how I'm doing it. This is not, it's, it's really a trial and error thing. You have to go slow with this. You don't wanna rush it. So basically, Basically what it is like, we're gonna spin it. Try to make a circle out of it. See, once we get the groove to it, right? Now we're actually getting a circle started. Again, I, I can't really see the camera, but basically now we're getting a circle started now we're going to take our file and we're going to just make it a little bit deeper and just keep on spinning don't want to go too far but basically now that i got it we're making a circle out of it I'll take it out don't want to go too big that's the worst if you go too big you screw it all up we have our button here and my button fits but it's still a little bit, has to go a little bit bigger because the bun does have a groove here. So a little bit, again, this is live. We're doing this right now. Again. It looks jagged here, but our button now, gotta go a little bit more. We still have a little bit of a lip, a little bit more. Again, you don't wanna go too much. If you go too much, it's gonna be awful. You literally have to junk the whole key, the whole control panel. Nice and easy, give it a little clean. And we are still a little bit. Again, no edits on this because this is what you guys wanted to see. Oh, there goes my camera. No edits on this. This is what you guys wanted to see. Nice. Boom. Button is down. That's it. That's how you mod these. We're going to do the same thing again. And then I have the ghost in anyway, so. Same button. Again, we got to go a little bit more. But again, no drills, no circle bits, no spade bits. It's very difficult to spade bit this. You can't spade bit this. I was gonna try it until I discovered I had a file. The file away, yes, it does take some muscle, but in the end, it's gonna look perfect because you don't have to worry about skipping on a drill bit. Just a little bit more. We wanna make sure it goes 360 around, so I'm almost there. I'm gonna go more towards the volume side of things. Again, luckily with the button, this is in.
perfect. That's it. You will still see, you will still see the volume label, but that right there, this is perfect. Could go a little bit more, but I'm tight. Again, this is perfect. That is it. That's like part one. Just getting your control panel set up. Once you get the control panel set up, there you go, two buttons, no spade bits. Again, you can't do spade bit. I tried to put a bit on this and I, I bounced around, it's impossible. You need to do the file. You could try bits, you could try to screw it, you could try to drill it with a spade bit or circle saws or whatever you wanna call it. It doesn't work. This is the Game Case Arcade's way. Again, this is part one. We're gonna do two parts on this just to get your control panel configured, at least as far as wood-wise. The only last bit as far as woodworking on this is the joysticks screws. Again, these screws here that came with it, they're too small for a Game Room Solutions zippy joystick or any joystick because the RK one up joysticks are a joke, they're too tiny. But I'll show you that when we get to that. For right now, part one, if you ever wanted to send me the control panel, all I need is the control panel. Um, and possibly also this. This also, we're gonna do the modification. We're gonna put the four menu keys on this. But one thing at a time, step one, part one, let's disassemble, take this apart, and speaker mod it, and button mod it. Part two, we're gonna finish it. We're gonna put all the buttons in, we're gonna put the wiring in, we're gonna put the pie in, we're gonna put the TV mod into it. Let's do it step by step, guys. This is part one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's new to me to be behind the camera, but let me know. Give me your feedback, guys. Thanks.